Hey guys, welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Uh, in today's video, uh, we are going to be covering uh, how to install and get the Amiga Core running on the analog pocket. So big news, uh, this just dropped uh, like a few hours ago. Uh, a friend of the channel, Mazamars312, also known as Ultra FP64, uh, he's actually made his Amiga Core uh, public now. If you remember the channel, I tested that on Alpha for it, uh, I think roughly a week ago or a few days ago. Well, it is out for public release. Uh, now this tutorial is only going to be for the handheld or for the handheld mode of the analog pocket because I don't have a dock. I kind of regret not buying a dock, not because I want to use it and play on it, uh, I kind of have my mister for that, uh, so I bought that analog pocket just as a handheld. But I think for video production and just kind of capturing that that clean feed, uh, it would have been a lot better for my videos. But hey, you know what? Live and learn. Uh, I didn't think that when I was ordering it a year ago. Uh, but in this tutorial, we're going to cover how to install it. Uh, now, hopefully, it will get integrated into an update all script. I have tried this on the script I'm using, which is Retro uh, Driven's. Uh, I think it's called the Pocket Updater. Uh, but uh, his, his update all it doesn't fit the Amiga core um, hopefully that'll be in, uh, that'll be implemented in the future so first of all just try it if you're using an update all script try it because it might fetch it for you and that will save you a lot of work because that will grab the the kickstart the BIOS for the Amiga for you uh, which if you don't grab it via update all you're going to have to put manually and I can't show you where to get that from you're going to have to find that out for yourself or, or discover that for yourself I'll show you where it goes I'll show you everything you need to do to get this up and running uh, but I can't show you how to get BIOSes but hopefully if it does get implemented in an update all then the the installation part at least you can skip you know you just need to do the update all so uh without further ado let's uh let's get into this right guys here here's a tweet from ultra fe64 just thought uh we would show this so just released the commodore amiga 500 core for the analog pocket uh, have done a lot to get it to this point uh, but want to share it with everyone so they can at least have as much fun as I have with it. So awesome work. He's left a, a GitHub link here. Let's go over to the GitHub page. Okay, here we are. So um, once you're on the GitHub, uh, once you're on uh, the GitHub uh, for the Amiga core, uh, all the links will be in the de description of the video. Uh, I know GitHub can be confusing at times for people. So what we want to do is let's go up here to code and let's go download as zip. Okay, cool. Here we go. We have the we have it downloading. So once we have that downloaded, let's head over to where our downloads, uh, where our download is. Okay, here we go. So first of all, like I always say, you got it from the internet, then give it a scan. Okay, so no threats found. We are good. Uh, so let's just extract that. Okay, extract that here. Okay, we are good. We no longer need the zip, but just to keep everything tidy, let's get rid of that. Uh, over on the right hand side, uh, over here, I have got my analog pocket memory card. Now, this is just a test memory card uh, that I use uh, for doing videos, really. <laughs> so but but it is exactly the same i've run update all on there it's got the it's got stuff installed on there uh so let's go into this folder here so what we want to do is just kind of follow it through and we want the distribution folder uh and as you can see we've got assets assets cores cores and platforms so what you want to do or what i do is i, I just drag everything in here and that will pretty much put everything uh that we need um over on our analog pocket so once we've done that there's still a little a couple of things to do so it will it will kind of let's uh let's just have a look okay so in assets let's go over to amiga so that's just been placed in there as you can see uh this this is the amiga um this is the the amiga uh, the amiga assets folder here but what we want to do is let's make a folder in here called common because this is where our games and our bios is going to go so let's make a folder called common and that's where our games and bios is going to go uh, so what we want to do now is things i can't help you with okay is the uh is games for example find the games you can you know you can find them uh on google quite easily but i've got a selection of games here so i've got pang rainbow islands r type and speedball 2. what we want to do is let's put our games in the common folder now remember they have to be sorry i might have said rbf uh, they need to be dot adf dot adf if i if i said if i made a mistake there pardon me uh but it's difficult to compile tutorials so i kind of like doing it as i'm doing it together so uh, the games need to be uh dot adf games which uh, as far as i know are disc games so at the moment is it the, the games are this they take a little bit of time to load um uh, 
And uh, the other thing that we want to do is we need uh, an Amiga uh, Kickstart. So we need the Amiga BIOS. Uh, now the version that I'm using is 1.2. I'm really sorry, I can't help you with this. I can't link BIOSes. This is something you're gonna have to find and obtain for yourself. But once you do get a BIOS, name it to kickstart.rom. And what you want to do is you want to place that copy and paste that into the common folder and to be honest i think that is pretty much it we are good to go so let's try this out on an analog pocket and just go through the emulator and i'm just going to go through a few things that i think are useful to know um and and just a few options that you know we may, we may want to turn on and just some things to improve your overall experience when using uh the amiga core uh, and once again i'm really sorry if i'm sort of using wrong terminology if i'm using stuff like emulator and uh, that in here what i mean is the amiga core to use the amiga core uh let's kind of have a look at, uh, over on the analog pocket and uh, we should be we should be good to go Okay, so let's start off by grabbing our memory card and putting it in the analog pocket. Unless obviously you've done it with a USB cable, in which case you've got your micro SD in there already. Now, uh, Ultra FP64, the, the developer of this course, says it's best used uh, docked. Uh, so you can use the mouse and keyboard. Again, I don't have that. So this is for all us guys that don't have it. But you can get some benefit out of it if you are if you are using it docked like you know how to install it and everything but let's go ahead boot up an analog pocket go to open fpga go over to computers amiga 500 bang there you go we've got our amiga 500 core now let's boot into that it should take us to uh the kickstart screen okay so once we're in the emulator press the analog button to bring up the menu uh, you can have a look at the controls and you can change them anyhow you like i've kind of left them on default I, I feel they're okay but the first option we want to change is let's go down to port one and port two and what we want to do is go to the third option down and change it to mouse and joystick one uh, there's a good reason for this the reason that we want to do this is because um we uh for example when you're playing some amiga games some of them you'll have like the group that cracked that game at the time you'll have this splash screen at the front and you can't get past it by pressing a button on a joystick often you need to press like a mouse button or something on a keyboard so if we do um if we have the mouse and joystick one combo we can get past a lot of that screens we'll show an example of that later when we when we boot up some games uh but yeah that's 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 an option i recommend doing straight away Okay, once we've done that, let's over to the option above, which is installed floppy drive. I'm only using uh, the first drive. Uh, so what we want to do is let's go to the second option down, which is uh, one drive or the first drive at two speed. This is just going to, as we've only got uh, disks at the moment and we haven't got uh, hard drive support, this is going to speed up. Well, it's going to double uh, the speed at which the games load at. So definitely, definitely a good thing to do. So make sure you go in, you do that drive speed at double uh, at, at, at two speed. Okay, so once we've uh, increased the floppy disk drive speed, let's go back out to the workbench. Let's go into a core settings. And what we want to do is pick a drive to load a game. So load floppy drive zero. So when we when we had a choice of speeding up the drives, it was one, two, three, four, but the actual drives are labeled up zero, one, two, three. So uh, as far as I know, zero should be one and, and just move a number up. So uh, once we go into there, click that and it should bring us to our list of games. So let's boot up a game. Let's boot up our type. Okay, so that little uh, square that you were seeing at the top of the screen, that means it is loading. When you see that, here you go, it's there again. Uh, it's just a good way to stop you from smashing the buttons. It is actually loading, the drive's in operation, and it is uh, it is loading. So that, don't smash the button. And where we're running games on disk, some of them do take quite a long time to load. I've kind of forgotten because I've not actually used an Amiga on a disk drive for a long time. But uh, yeah, man, let's, uh, let's get into our type and uh, let's boot it up. Okay, I really like, I like how the title screen kind of comes up. I think it looks, I think it looks really cool. Okay, again, we've got a little, uh, you know, loading icon up there. I think that's really handy. That's a really addition. This wasn't in the alpha. So uh, props to Ultra FP64 or AKA Mazamars312 for putting that in there. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Our type we are running our type Awesome, guys. Okay, for example, now we want to swap games. You can just go to the analog, uh, you know, you can bring up the analog menu, go to quit. But the best way that I'm finding it is let's press the analog, um, let's press the analog button, go to your floppy drive zero again. And what you want to do is load a game. So let's just, let's just swap the disc over. So let's go pang 
and here we go we've put pang in now in order for it to take effect let's go back into the menu and we want to go cpu reset so what that means is you've essentially inserted pang and then you've reset your amiga and it will load up at least that's the fastest way uh, or the most effective way i'm finding of um of just loading games without completely exiting the core or doing anything if there's a better way then let me know i'm still quite new to this but at least this is the way that i'm doing it here we've got the loading symbol again this takes quite a bit to load so let's just uh, let's just get into the game and I like I always say, man, this 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 uh this logo gives me goosebumps. Like Ocean was big back on uh, the Commodore 64 days and the Amiga days. This 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 company was big. They made a lot of good games. Excellent. Okay, so Pang's booted up. We're not going to get into the gameplay over here, but here we go. So Pang is here. Okay, so next, what we are going to do is the same thing now. We're going to try and run Speedball 2. So here we go. We've chosen a Speedball 2 disc. We are now going to do a reset. Now, remember when we spoke about the controls earlier and we've gone for the mouse and joystick configuration. Now, if you don't have the mouse, this is where you run into an issue. So let's have a look at that. Here we go. So this is booted up. This is a splash screen. Uh, this is a splash screen that belongs to, I think, like the group that cracked this game. So what we want to do is in order to uh, kind of get past this you can't get it past with a joystick uh, but once you choose the mouse combo in order to access the mouse if you hold down the left trigger and the right trigger uh, and then you move the d-pad around that controls the mouse uh, and if you press the a button which if we're talking playstation terms is the circle button the button on the right hand side of of the face one so uh yeah you know a a nintendo style button circle playstation buttons if we press that uh that will act as the left mouse so here we go so we've got left and right press down once we press that a button here we go now that takes us past that so if you're playing this in handheld mode uh you know don't get frustrated or anything uh you know mouse a mouse has been implemented into the control so once again i, I just can't give you enough props mazamars man like 312 amazing um uh, so that gets us past the splash screen because without that without a keyboard that would be an obstacle now there are some other obstacles as well like i, I booted up akari warriors but to start that i need to press one or two to play at one or two players uh, there's a batman game in order to start the joker campaign it's f1 or uh, to start a penguin campaign it's f2 or vice versa so yeah yeah, there's definitely uh some games that can't be played but in, at least to get past the splash screen we can kind of do that really sorry warning of these lights up ahead i don't know i find them mesmerizing i absolutely uh love them uh but yeah there's uh so uh, I'm, I'm sure more features uh, will be implemented i know mazamars is working on a virtual keyboard um so that's that's something that will come up and that, that'll give us access to a lot more games but here you go guys we have it speedball 2 uh, has booted up um yeah so uh, amiga core looking really 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 good enjoy amiga games let me oh let me know what games you guys are playing or what games i should actually try okay guys so this brings us to uh, the end of this tutorial uh, i really hope you found it useful if you did a subscription to the channel and a like is super appreciated it honestly helps out more than you can imagine um now uh, i'm really sorry if i made any mistakes i'm not the best at doing tutorials i do try uh, my hardest and the best if i did make any mistakes or if there's any any improvements you can add let me know in the comments below i'll be quite happy to uh, to make a pinned comment or change the description you know if it if it proves helpful uh, but it should get you started on the amiga core uh mass massive shout as always out to ultra fp64 mazamars 312 and everyone else involved also want to put a shout out to uh retro driven and his update all script that i use all the time i'm very very sure it will be on there um very very soon uh you know the guy gets stuff on there very very quickly he's working on a, a new version exciting so yeah guys thank you thank you for watching uh and uh yeah guys i'll see you around in the next video pixel cherry ninja out out.